Hey guys, welcome to Become Me. My name is Coach Cristal and I'm an NAFC certified personal trainer. Today we're gonna be doing the do's and don'ts of a push-up. Also guys, don't forget to follow Become Me on YouTube as well as my YouTube page, Miss Cristal. All right, let's get to it. The push-up is a great upper body exercise. We're gonna be working out our chest muscles. For women, it's a little bit tougher. For men, you guys have it already. But you know what? We're all equal and we're all gonna get it stronger together. All right, so how do we do the proper push-up? Well, we have some few key points for body alignment. Our body should be aligned from head to toe. We want to have the head in a neutral position. We don't want our head too far back and we don't want our head too far forward. We want it nice and straight aligned. When it comes to our tummy, we want it to be contracted, so nice and tight. Think of the front plank position, how our abs have to be nice and tight. We want it to have that front position the same way for our abdominals. When we're going down to our feet, we want to make sure that our feet are nicely shoulder width apart. We are balancing our weight between our hands and our feet. When we come up into a front plank position, we want to make sure that our hands are just over shoulder width apart. We come up into a front plank position and we come up into the nice front stable tree trunk, sturdy stable position. From there we have the neck nice and aligned. We then go down to our shoulders. We want to retract our shoulder blades nice and tight together. We come down, engage our core, we engage as well our glutes and we also engage our quads. Our toes are again shoulder width apart as well. And we are nice and contracted to start the push up. Our elbows, so imagine it's a bow and arrow. You always have it nice and pointed. We want it about a 30 degree angle or just comfortable for you. When we extend our arms, we want to have them extended nice and straight, lock the elbows, and then we want to have them your chest to the ground so your elbows are fully eccentricated so you want your elbows fully together which means that it's a full range of motion and we want to have our chest to the ground that is one full rep do that three sets ten times and that's how you do your push-up the don'ts of a push-up is we don't want to have our back compensating to do our ab exercise so we want to make sure that our abs are nice and contracted not sagging and our hips not sagging forward and not sagging too far back well how I call this to clients is don't do the snake and snail so don't be a snake don't be overcompensated and hips too far forward onto the ground and do not be a snail so don't have it too far forward or towards the sky your hips you want to be nice and neutral just like a tree all right guys these are the do's and don'ts of the exercise of the push-up I hope you guys love this video of the do's and don'ts of a push-up. Please follow Be Kami on YouTube as well as follow me, Miss Cristal. Follow my Instagram page, at Miss Cristal, as well as Facebook, Cristal Omaga. I hope you guys had a great day and enjoy. See ya!